end of the season tips and lessons learned on using the Tactabite fish call this week on Kayak Hacks. You know, I've been using this ever since it came out on Kickstarter. Got it back, I guess they shipped it in February, and now it's late October, it's getting chilly. This will probably be the last day I go out kayak fishing, because all the mullet are pretty much gone. And so that brings up the first lesson learned on using this thing, which is the volume and the sound you choose. When I first got this, I would just turn it on and throw it out, and I've discovered that that volume is a little bit too loud. My luck has been much better when I go about three or four clicks down from the volume setting. Now that's because I'm fishing back here in the middle of nowhere where there's no other noise other than what my kayak makes. Now what I do to figure out whether to pick the mullet sound or the shrimp sound is I look around and I match the hatch. Right now, late October, I'm gonna use mullet because that's what the remaining redfish are looking for. There's still a few schools swimming around a little bit and the reds are gonna home in on them. So I'll pick the mullet sound. In the middle of summer, I found that the shrimp sound was a lot better because the shrimp are big and robust and they're all over the place. And that's what the reds key on. So first lesson learned, volume down, and pick the sound to match the hatch. If you're doing it in fresh water, you only have one sound, so that makes a choice very easy. The second lesson learned is where you put this thing. You only want to put it where you think fish are going to be. If there's no fish around, it's not going to attract anything. Okay, here's an example of how to deploy the fish call. I'm sitting in a spot I know is pretty good. There's a channel right over here and the reds will run around that point. But the deep channel comes in right through here and then it branches. Go to the point and then go back into the bay. So I'll put my fish call out right there. And my strategy is the reds will come in and this is where they're gonna split. But what I want them to do is to hang around the call long enough for me to catch a couple of them. And that's what the call is gonna do. I'm here at low tide. It's probably about 20 minutes before I should get any action. And so the fish call is out there soaking and clicking along. We'll see what happens. It's late October. This will be a sketchy day, but this is where I would have put it in the summer as well. In fact, this is where I did put it in the summer. So given there may be fish in the area, you wanna sneak up on that spot and gently deploy it. I like doing it in two ways. When the tide's coming in and I know I'm gonna be there before the fish start pushing in, I'll paddle over and I'll deploy it. Now, in many of the places where I put this thing, the water is reasonably shallow and I don't want the entire 20 feet that came with this to deploy and move the fish call around. But what I did is I added two snap links through holes I drilled and then all I do is I wrap the line through here a number of times and that will keep the remainder of the line from rolling out. Now I can put this out and it's going to sit on the bottom and stay exactly where I want it. One of the tricks to place the line that comes with it with 40 pound monofilament and fill up the entire spool. That way you can anchor and then use the current to drift the fish call down to where you want it to be. So I'm sitting here off a point right now. That's the point right over there. And I want, to, want the fish call to be around there someplace. It doesn't need to be right next to it because the call is gonna work within a decent radius and attract the fish. So what I'll do is I'll slowly unspool the line and let the fish call float down to where I want it to be. Then I will drop the bottom weight. So I've got it out in the current now. 
and I'm just gonna feed the line onto it. And gotta be patient, but that's what fishing's all about. Another thing you can do when you deploy this, if you don't wanna sneak over to an area, you don't wanna throw it, you don't wanna pay out the line, is just put it next to your boat. You know, the fish are gonna come within casting radius and so as you fan cast around, if you're very quiet, the, the fish are gonna come up to you because they'll be interested in this fish call. And here's the proof. I had this Livingston Lord sitting in the water that makes the same kind of noise as this does right next to my boat and a big old gar came up and grabbed it. Check this out. So they'll come even though your boat's there. And you can do that same thing with this fish call. So, key lesson, gentle deployment. Don't make a big splash. Don't make a lot of noise. The third lesson learned is you have to let this thing soak a bit. You know, no matter how carefully you deploy it, you're gonna cause a little bit of commotion when you're putting it out. So what I do is I'll put it out and then I'll move away and come back in about 20 minutes. That way it's had a chance to soak, the fish are calm, they get curious, they swim up to see what's going on with all the noise, and there are more fish around for me to catch. The fourth lesson is that if the sound you pick, like you know, you have two choices for inshore, if it's not working, switch to the other sound. You may have made the wrong call in terms of what the fish are feeding on. So like today, I'm gonna to start out with mullet, but if that doesn't work, I'm gonna to switch to shrimp. One of the other things I was concerned about, about using this was how long would the batteries last? And what I found is that I can get a day's worth of fishing out of three batteries, because basically you're not gonna have it on 100% of the time. You're gonna drop it, you're gonna let it soak, you're gonna come back, you're gonna fish, you're gonna pick it up, turn it off, and you're gonna to move to your next spot and then repeat the process. And that means that this thing isn't gonna be on for eight hours straight. It'll be on for the time you probably spend actually fishing instead of moving to a fishing spot during that time. But I always carry extra batteries because I'm gonna use these dang batteries until they run out, because I'm cheap. The most important lesson I learned is that you have to use this thing to get the benefits. If you leave it in your tackle box because you decide it's a hassle to sneak up and put out and then back off and then go back, then you're never gonna catch any fish using it. This thing works. And if you put it in a fishy spot, if you put it on the right noise at the right volume, then the fish are gonna come to it if they're there to begin with. But the key thing is, you have to use it. Fish on by the fish call. There's the fish call. Here's the fish. Feels like a small red. Throw it out there by the call. And let it hang around. Another nice red by the fish call. Well, he grabbed this cut mullet and just ran. There's the fish call, there's the red. Fish call, right by the fish call, you see that? Right there, right there. Let's see what it is. Got it by the fish call. Looks like it's another little rat red. All the big guys are out at, out to sea now. But these guys are still fun. Okay, now I threw a plug out there to retrieve the call. It's really easy. I'm ready to move to my alternate location. The tide's up a little bit, and I think the fish will be running closer to the shore. 
So this saves me having to paddle over there to get it. And I can pull it in with the minimum disturbance. My assessment after using this for a season is I love it. I use it every time I go out if I'm going to sit in a spot. And I think this is one of the best gadgets that I've ever bought that results in more fish caught. I know some of you may have a different experience, but look at the way you use this and deploy it. Make some adjustments. You've already bought it. And then maybe you'll have the same luck that I've experienced. Because I know with me, if it wasn't for luck, I wouldn't catch any fish at all. This improves my luck. Comments? What are your results with this thing? Put them down below. Take care.